Cookie. She's a Shih Tzu and she gets a bath and tidy today. She's already had her bath. Her ears are clean. Her teeth have been brushed. Here we go. Good girl, Cookie. Cookie has a, <clears throat> a mat behind her ear, so we're just going to shave that out because uh, it's safer to shave it out than it is to try to demat it. I don't want to nick, nick her skin or anything. There we go. Almost got it. Hold well on, Cookie. I usually will shave her her pit area under there because she's really sensitive about having it brushed. Um, so I just shave it out just to save her from going through that stress. Her folks take very good care of her, don't they? Yes, they do. She doesn't like having her head brush so we're just gonna go very slow and take our time little bit of tangles there okay her parents bring her every week every two weeks so she gets a bath and tidy uh, often to keep her coat nice and beautiful and tangle free and fluffy if you have a dog that has a long coat like this and has not been groomed by a professional groomer in at least two weeks, you can expect to either have um, some dematting issues or for your groomer to suggest to shave the dog. That, that's normal. With Cookie, that's never an issue. It is 110 degrees today. I usually shave all of this down for Cookie. So number one is because it's she doesn't like it when I brush it. It's it's too delicate. It's too tender under there. Uh, but number two, um, especially with our current temperature, when she goes to lay down uh, flat on a on a hard floor to cool off, she can cool off a lot faster because uh, her skin is more exposed under there. If you ever see a dog do that, lay flat on the kitchen floor or on the hardwood floor, uh, they're cooling off. They're trying to cool their bodies off. I do her sandy with a number seven. And I'm gonna scoop her eyes now. For her, I do it with a 30 blade. Most dogs, you do it with a 10. So I go ahead and I scoop it once with a 30. And then with my fine trimmers, I go ahead and take as much of that stained hair out as possible. Sometimes this can be caused by our your local water, you know, or unfiltered water, uh, or, um, Sometimes it can be caused by uh, having the dog drink from stainless steel bowls. That's happened to my dogs before. So when I got rid of their stainless steel bowls and started filtering their water through a Brita pitcher or something similar, it stopped. But sometimes it can just be 
and uh, a condition that they have. Some that's going in on your top lip. Okay, let me. You be still. I'll trim all that out for you. Be still. Good girl. Stay. try it out. Works better, huh? Very good. I know you don't like this part, but I got to drag a comb through here just to make sure you don't have any tangles. Make sure So then I just go and I re redefine the shape on all four paws. You're doing such a good job, Cookie. Trim out her pants just a little bit, just to freshen them up. This is your stuff. I will see you again in a few days, huh? I'll keep all of this beauty going for you. Let's see. Let's pull this out just a little.